Okay, Marcus Bullis joins us now from JN Financial to walk us through what's happening. And Marcus, talk us through your top, st top stocks. Afternoon. The uh, stocks that we've been trading today, as you said, the miners have done fantastically. Uh, within that, the financials as well. Of course, there's not any secrets now that the American market's finished up over 300 points last night. That's why I'm a lot of confidence within the UK markets this morning. It's really been rallying throughout the day. There hasn't really been a stage where it's taken a step back and taken a breath. And uh, Standard Chartered and BHP Billiton has been my favourite stocks today. Uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, some of the issues on the downside, though. Northern Rock continues to be a, a stock under pressure. Uh, it's not all one-way trade today. No, certainly. Uh, Northern Rock is still a stock that investors are panicking about. Uh, the business model at Northern Rock and the fact that they, of course, borrow money within the money markets and then lend it out over mortgages over the 25-year period isn't something that I feel is going to work. It's something that uh, my trading director, the analyst that I work with, highlighted back in April when the stock was at £11. And it's something that we've been shorting uh, in and out since then. Well, you must have made quite a decent amount of money on it. Just give us a sense of, uh, just give us a sense of these stocks at this point in time, this market. Where is it going from here? Are your clients convinced that this is the start of a, another rally, or are they just uh, taking uh, taking the sunshine where they can find it and enjoying it, and are quite prepared to be in and out still of these markets? Uh, certainly taking the sunshine where they can find it. Uh, I think uh, investors' attitude has changed to date. If you look back sort of six months ago, uh, people, there would be bid rumours floating around, people would jump into the stock, they'd be holding positions. Things like Sainsbury's, the stock went all the way up and held around the 580 mark before. And now it's certainly moving a lot more with the markets as people are a lot more panicking, a lot more jittery. Marcus, great to hear you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Marcus Bullis joining us from JN Financial.